It's leg day. I'm feeling pretty excited. I got Mike with me here. It's going. Mike came all the way from Missouri on your spring break. Yeah, spring break. Um, yeah. We got an empty gym here today. So we're gonna knock out some legs. He's, you're following the swole program? Yeah, I am. And you're doing the summer shred. I yes. mean, the spring shred. Yes, I am. So you got 21 days of carb cycling ahead of you. Yeah. Very intense. Yeah. Um, today's workout, it's actually gonna be a little bit different. Our squat progression, um, we're, we're gonna be switching it up, doing a new movement. So this is all about really utilizing um, the stretch reflex on our squat. So we're gonna be really focusing on that for our first movement here. Gotta warm up like we always do though. today for our back squat I was telling you guys all about that stretch reflex so what we're doing is we're hitting three seconds on the on the negative portion so nice and slow come up a quarter of the way pause two seconds and then down up and that last part is is the speed work so we're gonna be one two three up one two boom and if you if you go down and then right back up you'll notice it gets a lot harder because we're stretching it and then bouncing back up and again we're not I'm going about 50% of the one rep max for six reps. That'll be my first set. Um, it's not like super bouncy, but it's quick. You're under control, but it's quick. Moving on, we now have our first super set leg press. So we have four seconds on the eccentric. Explode up, no pause at the top. Explode up, we have 12, 12 reps. Super setting that with a standing calf raise. So while our quads are recuperating, be hitting calf raise and I love doing it on that. Can't wait for our new equipment too though. We should we get a bunch of stuff coming in from China. Um, so this one, we had our main, a lot of time under tension today. So we had our main lift. We hit six reps. So we did four sets of six reps on that, but nice and slow on the way down. You guys saw it, it was brutal. Um, this will be a lot more time under tension, 12 reps here. Biggest thing here, stay in that four second eccentric. Don't let yourself start thinking about sunshine and butterflies, stay in the pain, welcome it. Second superset, we're gonna go with our Smith Machine close stance squat. We have three sets of 12 on this one again. Control the weight down, explode up, and then we're supposed to be supersetting with a seated calf. We don't have that here at the gym, so I'm just gonna superset it with a leg extension for this. This is our last super set here. We're going from our sissy squat on the Smith machine. It's kind of like our makeshift sissy squat here to our step ups. Now this is supposed to be a front rack step up. I just want to keep it simple. So I'm, I'm cheating the system here and just doing dumbbell step ups. After, after doing our sissy squat, these, you know, only six reps here on each leg. Plenty, plenty for that. Oh boy. Those burn, huh? Yeah. Man, push back against it, and back up. There you go. Now you're not rocking forward. That's a 60 squat right there. Good, that a boy. Feel a little different? Yeah, nice. way different. Whew. Yeah, those are definitely different. I think it would be helpful. Not even, it's like three quarters of the length and like the width of this. Not even that. Jake's just telling us about his trip to CrossFit headquarters where they begged him to come back to CrossFit and he's like, no. <laughs> he didn't really do that. Um, what are you doing today? What am I doing? I already lifted it. You're back in here. We're back in here. Working on some deadlifts. He's doing some deadlifts. I'm back in here doing some Olympic lifts. So I'm following, like I said, the SWOL program. But I also like doing some Olympic lifting. I'm not good at it. It's challenging and it offsets when I wear pink because I feel manly. So I went home, showered, come back and wear pink. True story. I'm wearing a pink top because I'm wearing pink socks today. I reached into my dresser. It was dark. Grabbed pink socks. I was walking down the hall to my other closet, because I have two, because I have too many clothes. And I'm like, oh crap, I have pink socks in my hand. I should probably find something that matches. This matched perfectly. It's, if you guys were wondering, Steve Cook and Gymshark collab. Uh, it's only a feat of strength. What, what do you mean by a feat of strength? Like when we did the tire, the tire thing. You want to do another feat of strength in Pick here? something random. Let's put the Zaboni on our back. It's obviously a competition, Steve. 
if we're gonna put the Zamboni on our back, we're gonna have to squat it like for reps or something to win. Well, here's the thing. I'm a lot stronger than you. So. <laughs> My legs go harder. No. You just do a little bit of this. Same thing that Trevin does. So your initial thing is like kind of your butt coming up. Uh. And so the next thing that you do is come forward on your toes. And so like before you're extended, you're already on your toes. Right. And so it's like a weird path. Instead of like keeping How your weight, fix it? your weight. So keep your weight in your midfoot, and then you want to be completely extended, and that takes you on your toes. So, so I'm on my about, toes too fast. I would think about just keeping your chest up. So like, make that first pull, the pull where you focus on your chest up and then once you get past the knee, explode. Okay. Chest up, up. Yeah, that was way better, bro. So if you get, if you get. If you get that, I'll get that. Hey, I promise you that. Is this weird that we talk oh, about yeah. like this? Yeah. I think it's a little weird. Deal. All right. If you get that, I'll get that. I feel like uh -huh. if you're breaked up or your back breaks down all, you're just gonna give up though, so don't do that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah. Fuck it out. Woo! Back didn't even break down much. Yeah. I've already I've already lifted today. <laughs> and we filmed this on my Instagram. Yeah, I know that. Can you do that? All right, Jake, I gotta ask you a question. So the first time I ever worked out with Jake, I was like, oh, I'm this bodybuilder, I wanna get fit. I was tired of just kind of looking strong and not really being strong. And I remember we were benching and I had no quick twitch muscle. Why is it important to have quick twitch? Why is it important to be an athlete? Why is it important? You no, know, like why, why train like that? Why, why do you train like that? Why do I like being strong? But why, why would just fun? Why would someone though, because for me, being an athlete, I remember that feeling of being explosive. Like no one likes, it's cool to like look cool, good. It's a different feeling of looking good and also being able to like go sprint up a mountain like other people can't do, so. I think, I think it's like actually being fit. Yeah. Like if you actually enjoy fitness, like looking good and not being able to perform very well is not very so, fun. So I think our kind of whole mission statement is we want you to look good, but we want you to lift things good too. Let's think good too, say so. Zoolander. <laughs> School from Derek Zoolander. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? Yeah, Jake's a good example of somebody who's really strong. Like he just did 6.45, so every day I'm in here trying to get strong, cleaning and, I used to, I used to love cleaning when I was like 12, 13, 14, and then I realized it wasn't getting my beach muscles stronger, so I stopped doing it. I, that, I regret it. Is that because you used to be a janitor when you were 12 and 14? It's a joke. Clean? Clean? Yeah, janitor? You got it? That is going to be it though for this video. Because um, I'm actually going to probably leave and go pick up Poppy. She got her cast off today and she has a bunch of sores. So we literally can't put her down because she's bleeding. I'm going home. It's been a good day. Two workouts in. Um, getting closer to a million. I gotta sit down and come up with some awesome content. You know, I could just turn on the camera and just let you guys see my day, but I feel like I've done that. I feel like I've done everything. So let me know what you guys wanna see more of. Just the fun fun times we have here. That might be a good idea. A lot of crazy stuff goes on off camera that like is borderline inappropriate. A lot of inappropriateness, um, but 
we have a good time and you know we don't take our two se selves too serious and that's kind of the secret in life if, like you want to be happy serve other people and don't take life too serious because it's not like you're getting out of it alive